Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing day. My name is Nadi. I am a witch and root worker who loves to create black women as supernatural beings. So if that's something you're into, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see more from me. But in today's video, I'm going to be creating this ethereal being basically. I don't know what she is. She's probably like a uh, angel slash seer hybrid. Uh, it was just something that I just created because, to be honest, I've been in a very creative slump these past two weeks. I did not want to draw for nothing. You could not get me to draw. You could not get me to sketch. I just could not muster up the feeling to create something as a painting or like a sketch or anything. So this piece was actually the piece that actually got me out of my funk. So I absolutely love how it came out. I I did get some forgets to do some things in the video with this piece, but you'll still see it at the end of the video um, because I was just so excited to finish it. It was just like a piece that, one of the pieces that I had finished that I actually had fun creating. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about in this video, being in a creative slump, feeling like a burnout just not motivated to do anything I definitely know the feeling it's an irritating feeling it's just it's just like you don't want to do anything even though you know you have things to do and stuff to do and projects in mind you just don't want to accomplish those projects you just don't want to do those projects and it's kind of a sucky feeling when this is your full-time job so in order for me to come combat that feeling into like you know, muster up the energy to create a game. One thing I did was not to force myself to create. So for the past two weeks, I just really just sat there. I didn't create anything. I did some sketches here and there, but I wasn't really into it. But I just didn't do anything. I didn't force it. I just felt into that feeling of not of feeling burned out, of not wanting to create. And then one day, which was actually today... No, actually, it was Friday. Friday, I was like, okay. This image popped up into my head of this woman with very, with a beautiful afro, with a, with like a, an eye in her forehead, and like she's crying tears, and she also has a halo above her head. And honestly, I think I was just drawing how I was feeling about not being able to create. And I think that's why I connect with this piece so much and why I love it so much because I think I'm just, I was just pouring out and feeling whatever I was feeling during that burnout into this piece. Especially with the tears, it just made so much sense. So I really did love how I accomplished this piece and how I created it. It sucks having burnout. It sucks not being able to create when it's something that you are so passionate about and it's something that you love. So I, if you're out there and you're a creator who just don't want to create, especially with this quarantine, which is pretty much one of the reasons why I did not feel like creating because I had self-quarantined. And honestly, I'm, I work from home, so I'm always home, period, no matter what. But I always had the choice to leave. I always had the choice to not stay in and make my choice being taken away from me is kind of making me feel claustrophobic and I'm just like uh -uh, I don't even want to ugh I just, I just did not have the motivation to do anything so that was really one of the reasons that just kind of dulled my creativity and my senses especially what's going on in the world right now so I'm definitely letting you guys know if you're creative and if you haven't been creating in a couple of weeks or if months if it's going on forever, it is okay to take a break. It is okay to not create anything. It is okay to not want to draw, to want to paint, to want to do anything. It is absolutely okay because there's a reason why you are going through that burnout and eventually that burnout will pass. But for now, try not to force it. It's okay to not create all the time and it's okay to not to feel like you should create eventually you will get that passion back but it's just not the time right now and i just wanted to let you guys know that you are still in a creator and you're still amazing and you're still awesome and you're still very very talented and just because you haven't created in like a week or two or three weeks or a month it doesn't mean that you suddenly suck or that that title of creative 
has been taken away from you even if you haven't created in a year that title of being a, cre a creative has not been taken away from you so this video is just to let you guys know that even though my burnout wasn't that long it will pass eventually just don't look at the angle just feel through those emotions that you're feeling um, let release those emotions and once you release those emotions you're gonna come back ten times harder and better with more creativity than you have had in a while so just remember that what you're going through this burnout is you're going through it for a reason and it's okay to not be okay and to not be creative uh, make sure you have a very good support system and if you don't I'm here for you I really truly do love you guys so yeah I just wanted to put that out there in this video because I just absolutely know how it feels to just be burnt out and not want to do nothing I didn't even want to create a YouTube video this week to be honest but I once I created this piece I had a meet I had the urge to record my process of this piece get this message out to you guys and post it today which is saturday that you guys will be seeing it so remember it all happens for a reason and you will end up creating a masterpiece like i think i created with this cutie right here it's been a minute since i've created a monochromatic piece this beautiful this detailed this lovely so i really love how she came out she's just so gorgeous oh my god and as you can see i finished all the details like her halo and her earrings but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you got a good message from it and i'll see you guys next time for real i love you guys bye thank you guys so much for stopping by it truly means the world to me if you guys would like to see more from me, make sure to become a patron over on my Patreon. You'll gain access to so many exclusive rewards your mind will like blow. Also, make sure to stop by my shop where I sell these gorgeous prints, these gorgeous stickers, apparel, merchandise, and so much more. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I want you guys to have a beautiful, abundant day. See you next time, babes.